Hello, this is Wenger Reviews, and today I will be doing a video on random acts of violence about a comic book writer whose work is based off a real-life serial killer who was never caught. He's having a hard time coming up with an ending. While doing a mini press tour, murders in a small town start to happen that look similar to the murders in his comic. I was really enjoying this. The premise was interesting yet convoluted, but entertaining. There was nice gore that wasn't over the top. It was nice seeing a decent slasher movie instead of something supernatural. There were certain things that happened that really creeped me out, including a voice on the phone and numbers, and it was just so freaky. I also loved the long panned shots or how the camera would stay in one place so you could really soak in what you were seeing. It added to the atmosphere and the sense of dread that was about to come. There was even one particular scene that reminded me of Suspiria, the remake that came out in 2018. It's used as a promotion image for the movie, and that image is what got me interested in this in the first place. And this is one of the rare times slow motion was used effectively and added to the horror. It was very well done. There was also a Jaws reference where a girl is in trouble but the guy is passed out or asleep and isn't aware of what's going on. During the last half, the performances really suffer because the actors aren't good at being scared or freaked out. The acting in the first half was fine because they're regular everyday people, but when it comes to pushing their emotions in certain situations that are horrible, they hit their limit. Some actors just have limited range. That doesn't mean they're not talented. They're just limited in what they can do. In a scene where someone close to them dies, You'd think they'd be more emotional, but you can tell they're not good at crying on cue. Most of the lead actors are used to doing comedy or action movies, so they're probably just not used to being emotionally vulnerable. The acting just wasn't the selling point, and certain scenes did suffer because of this. But again, the way the movie is shot is the saving grace and the gore. I wished we were shown more of the comics and what the stories were about because from what they do show it just seems like an endless stream of random murders and i'm assuming that would get repetitive after a while if there wasn't a real story in between but yeah i did enjoy this for the most part and i give it a six out of ten